What is going on my super sandwiches? Brown Star here and today I bring you another Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 feedback video and today we're going to be focusing on everybody's favorite feature from Xenoverse 1 and that is the RNG. The random drops. Sarcasm, folks. That was clearly sarcasm. I can guarantee that nobody here enjoyed the RNG. And if you say you did, then you probably just got the game. Trust me, the more you play, the more you play uh, the parallel quests, the more you just get ultimate locked the entire time, the more you'll hate it. RNG in Xenoverse, let's be real here, was pretty much broken and annoying. There's nothing more annoying than playing uh, the later parallel quests where literally you have Goku and Gohan just doing ultimates on you. There's nothing more annoying than getting an S or Z rank on those missions only to get nothing in return. Now granted, uh, big ups to Banda Namco for giving us the Elder Kai special ability later in DLC 3 where if you talk to him and he tells you you're going to get lucky, you actually get the drop you're looking for. But still, I don't want RNG to come back in Xenoverse 2 and I guarantee everybody watching this video will agree. If you do, leave a like, like rating below right now or comment or, or some kind of interaction let me know that you agree or disagree. RNG was absolutely annoying and broken in Xenoverse 1 and should not come back in the next game. Now, as far as the right way to do it, uh... There's, there's many ways to do it, and honestly, I'm kind of a big fan of what Extreme Botoden did on the 3DS, in case you're unfamiliar. They reward you based on what rank or uh, score you get in the missions. For, for example, it's like, hey, if you want to unlock Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta as a support character, you have to get an S rank. If you get a A rank, you get Zenny. If you get a B rank or less, you get XYZ. So if they actually base it on how well you do in a mission, I think they could work pretty, pretty well. Now granted, I feel like I could still co somehow come out broken knowing Banda Namco and them, so they could probably screw something up, but, but I'd rather get that than a freaking randomized drop, because randomized drops are so frustrating. It's just, I just remember all those times I used to get mad playing that game, and just, again, there's nothing worse than playing like the later missions, like where you have to fight, for example, Goku, Vegeta, and Gohan, and all they're doing is doing freaking Super Kamehameha and Final Flashes. You just get locked, and there's nothing you can do but just throw your controller and cry and feel a position. Don't give us that in the next game, folks. Uh, Dims, Banda Namco, don't give us that. Give us something more fun. Give us something to actually strive for. Because, again, if you're actually uh, based on how well you do a mission or what score you get or what rank you get, at least that gives us more of a uh, better, I guess, road to understanding what we have to do to get the freaking item that we want. Uh, it's not just randomized. And, again, you know, getting a Z rank in Xenoverse 1 only to get nothing or even just a crappy Z soul was just the worst. And, honestly, do not bring that back in the next game. It will pretty much, you know, make me pretty annoyed and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will agree with me on that but again if not leave a comment below saying why you like the RNG well I won't completely trash the RNG because the thing that I did kind of enjoy about it is the fact that it gives you something to strive for um, and what it was kind of fun in the beginning I got like I said over the long run it just got annoying and I feel like the only reason why RNG was even added in Xenoverse 1 was to basically make you play as much as possible which I understand I mean obviously they want us to play, play the game and if you buy a game and beat it within the first week it's not that enjoyable but I feel like if they do have a extreme Bototen style drop system where if you uh, you know get certain ranks, uh, you get rewarded certain items. I think that will work really really well in Xenoverse 2. But uh, of course, that's just my thoughts, uh, you know, personally. So what do you guys think about that? What do you think would actually number one? And the question is, do you think that uh, the same system as the extreme Bototen would work well? Or two, if you have a better idea, excuse me, if you have a better idea, what would that idea be, and how would you handle the the drops in? Um, in Xenoverse uh, 2. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And also before I end this, one more thing that I think would work really, really well is is they should actually make every item and weapon uh, and attack available in a store, but just make it very, very expensive. Because that also gives you another way to get it in case you can't get those high ranks. But if you have a lot of money, for example, like for example, uh, with myself, I think I have like 18, 20 million Zenny in my game right now. I don't remember what it was. Uh, if I really want to go freaking, you know, not get that freaking mission, I can just go to the store and spend like 2 million zennies or something. Something incredibly expensive to kind of balance it out to get whatever I'm trying to get. I think that could work well, really, really well as well. Uh, excuse me, I kind of all just jumbled all over the place right now. But overall, um, I think number one, having a rank system for drops would work better. And two, in case you can't get those ranks because not everybody's good at the game, uh, I think an alternative would be it should make everything available in the store. So if you do have a lot of money over time or spending a lot of time in the game, you can just use those zenny to unlock whatever you're trying to get, whether it's clothes, weapons, items, Whatever you name it. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Let me know your overall thoughts in the comment section below. And let's see what the community is interested in. But I'm pretty sure we can all agree unanimously, unanimously that the RNG in Xenoverse was dog shit. Hashtag uh, RNG dog shit in the comment section below if you agree. And leave a like right below as well. Yeah. Anyway, so uh, that is today's Xenoverse 2 feedback video. Hopefully, uh, you know, Dimps and Bond and Namco are listening to all this feedback that we're sending them as a community because I know a lot of people have been doing videos uh, for the last couple months about this. And hopefully, Xenoverse 2 will be even more amazing. And I cannot wait to see what uh, they've been cooking up whenever they announce that game uh, in the next year or so or whatever. So, yeah. 
Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day. My name is Ramsa, and I'll see you all you awesome Super Saiyans in the comment section below. Peace!